I'm talking with Hart Phoenix. Hi, welcome. Can you tell me what your association is with Jungle Friends and why you're here taking part in this event today? Okay, well, I love animals and um, I really appreciate the work that Carrie has done in helping save these amazing creatures that have led such a life of captivity and unfortunately torture. So uh, I'm here to help support that. Can you tell me some of the other things that you've done that maybe some of our viewers might be aware of? Well, one of the most important decisions that I made in my life for myself and my family at the time was I became vegan about 34 years ago. Wow. And uh, it's, it's just one of the most amazing parts of, uh, I think, the evolution of who I am. That's awesome. Have you seen the movie? I have not. You're looking forward to it, I take it. Yes, I am. I remember in the late 70s reading about a chimpanzee that could speak with sign language, and it was so incredible. That it, in itself was a testimony as to the intelligence, and, and it, it doesn't even matter about the intelligence, but just the, the quality and capability of, of animals in general. So it really added to everything that I believed in. Yeah, I think I think you know what you're saying about the intelligence is is that I, I think what we look for is that connection that shows us that we're really not at all different from other animals. It's really a continuum. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so. Uh, so. So, um, how long have you known Carrie? Um. I don't really remember. As long as she's been here, probably in the very early initial stages when she was first putting everything together. I remember going out there um, with only a few cages there. And now I've just been watching this video that's been showing. It's just dumbfounded. I'm just dumbfounded by what she's accomplished. I know that uh, one of the reasons that they're having this event and showing the film and bringing all the people in is because she wants to expand, not because she wants to expand, but because she has to expand. Are, do you, uh, are you involved at all in, 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 in that end of uh, animal activism at all? I would say that I, um, I have a very broad spectrum of, of issues that I'm involved in. I'm starting a peace center in Gainesville. I'm part of a national organization um, that is um, about not just animal rights, but everybody's rights. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge part. Obviously, I'm a vegan for 34 years. It's a huge part of who I am. But I, I, there are wonderful people that are doing that part. And I feel like my role and calling is really the intersection, bringing it all together under one big holistic rights banner, you know, yeah. rights of all. So yeah. That's exciting. I, yeah. I, is there anything you'd like to tell our viewers before I let you go and enjoy the movie? Well, I think that, you know, we have a way in, in, as activists and as, as just people that we have our own particular uh, journey and avenue that we kind of navigate through. And I think it's so noble when we have a cause that really pulls us and gives us a, a, a reason and a mission. At the same time, I feel that it separates us. And, I, and, and that in itself, for me, is what minimizes the power of who we really could be if we all join together and realize that yes, yes, it matters what we do to animals. Yes, it matters what we do to the earth. Yes, it matters what we do to each other. And so when we, when we can't agree on that, when we're so tunnel vision into what we're doing and we're not able to expand that to include the whole family, you know, human, animal, plant, um, it's unfortunate. And so what I would like to see is a great collaborative effort and to uh, celebrate what we have in common. Because I think ultimately all of us want to be liberated, not just for ourselves, but for everyone.
and that's kind of what I'm trying to do in my little life. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Nice to meet you.